On the Business Courier front page this week, is it high time for Cincinnati to end its big time airport dreams for CBG? That's the focus of our centerpiece story this week. Get your head out of the clouds. In 2005, Delta offered more nonstop flights to Europe from CBG than United offered from O'Hare International Airport in Chicago. CBG was a point of civic pride, an important recruitment tool. But that was then. Delta's flawed business model, skyrocketing fuel costs, and the Great Recession caused Delta to cut deep at CBG, and those cuts keep hurting today. Other than the Brent's Brent's Bridge, no other transportation issue causes as much pain and confusion for our region's business community as the state of our airport. Some of the questions being asked, can low fare carriers be persuaded to come to CVG? Can we get more international flights? Will companies leave Cincinnati if CVG doesn't make it back to those glory days? In this week's centerpiece, our reporter Chris Wetterick talked to a lot of people about the state of CVG. He joins Business Courier editor Rob Dahlmeyer here in the studio with analysis on what he found. Chris and Rob. Thank you very much, Chris. Thanks for being here. Um, big question with this story, really one of the reasons that you decided you wanted to do it is we were trying to find out, you were trying to find out what is the best case scenario for CBG, and that is uh, not necessarily an easy answer to get. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, there, there's basically kind of two schools of thought out there. The airport and the business community kind of have one thought, and then there are the outside airline analysts who kind of take a more pessimistic view right. of things. Uh, the airport and the business community, they believe they can get another international flight or two. That would be the main uh, thing that they, that they kind of hope for. Uh, they hope to keep that Delta hub, and if they add a few more flights, more power to them. Um, and then on the other side, you have the, the analysts who say it's very unlikely that, um, you know, that CBG will see another international flight. Uh, CBG is the only airport in the, in the region, Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio, that has an international yeah, flight Paris, yeah. to, you know, to uh, continental Europe. Um, so they think that's just with an era of, cons of consolidation, it's, right. it's going it, to it's going to stay the way it is in terms of international flights. So, um, but people locally aren't ha they just that's not enough for them. And I guess one of the again one of the parts of the story that you really tried to, to hit home with is we have to accept reality now. Mm -hmm. We are still a Delta hub, the smallest in the country for them. Uh, you know, I talked to the CEO a couple months ago, and uh, he said Cincinnati's doing fine, but don't expect anything else. How important is being a hub, um, even though we are the smallest, is it a big deal? Well, we've got about 10, maybe 15 more flights than we would otherwise. So uh, people, the business, uh, the business leaders in town and, and the airports administration, they see it as important. And they feel like they're on solid ground with Delta. The things that Delta tells them, they, you know, they have to um, release their, their flight volume to CBG prior, you know, and certain deadlines every year. Um, this year it looks like it's going to be steady. So they feel fairly confident they're going to keep that hub for a while or what's left of it. And do you have any uh, idea as to whether um, the airline is happy with the way it's being run? I mean, Delta used to lose money every year. Mm -hmm. That's not the case anymore. Uh, Delta's not necessarily out there looking for new ways, new exciting ways to make money because they're making it now. Right. You know, the Delta made $2.7 billion last year as a record profit for them. So, and based on the quotes that uh, the Richard, uh, the CEO of, of Delta gave us, um, you know, they're, they're pretty happy with, with CBG at this point. So, so maybe that's it's a good time sign. For, yeah, maybe it's time for us to get happy too. Anyway, Chris, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Back to you. All right, gentlemen, very interesting story for those of us who travel a lot. Be sure to read the print edition of the Business Courier for that entire story.